Welcome, Leo, to your weekly reading. This is for the 11th to the 18th of September. We are going to go ahead and see all the possible energies and messages coming through for you for this week. Leo, I'm starting off with your oracle cards. This is going to give us our core messages, the main themes coming through for you for this week. And then I will go ahead and clarify everything further with the tarot to get deeper insight and deeper messages. Leo, this is a collective reading, so take what resonates and leave the rest. The first card you are getting is number 12, a change in the wind. And when we get this card, my dear Leos, we can expect a change. This could be a change that's already happening for you. It could be something you know about, or it could be something that is going to come up this week. When we have it's in the wind, there's something already at play here. You then have number 34, Voyage. You already have all the answers. This is a beautiful energy because it tells us, my dear Leos, that no matter where you are on a particular journey, you do not need to worry because you have whatever you need. You are not alone. You are guided. You are protected. You have everything within you right now to go in the right direction, to make the right decisions. This is about trusting yourself on whatever this voyage is for you. And lastly, you've got number 36, come to the edge. And this, my dear Leos, is the energy of as the change is happening and as the change comes in, you are going to be asked to come to the edge and take flight. This is the energy of being ready now, having all the answers, and now soaring in a new direction. What I'm going to do now is I'm going to take a tarot card for each core message, and then I will come back around again and clarify even further to get deeper insight. So let us see now what is coming in for Leo this week, please. What is coming in for Leo? Eight of Swords. Three of Pentacles. And the Queen of Swords. So we are going to start off here with our Eight of Swords energy. And I'm just going to get your clarifier. So let us see now what the Eight of Swords is for Leo, please. The Eight of Pentacles. Okay. Make sure you can see everything, Leo. What I am seeing here, some of my Leos might find themselves at this time in the Eight of Swords energy. Now, Eight of Swords is the energy of feeling that we don't have any choices. We're stuck. We're blindfolded. We can't see any possibilities. And as you can see, she's bound with the swords all around her. As she feels she's got no choices, she's got no options. She can't go up, down, left or right. But we must understand that Eight of Swords is just an energy we feel at a moment in time. There is a change coming in and the change is coming in this week. This is the week you're going to feel a very significant change when it comes to our Eight of Swords energy because we see you not only releasing out of this energy, but you having a very definite and distinct path, an idea of what to do. 
Now, this could come up in any area. This could be in a relationship, in a work scenario, a family scenario. But what I love to see is that from this energy, from our Eight of Swords to our Eight of Pentacles, there is a very significant jump. This change that comes in takes you right out of being completely trapped and stuck to the energy of being so on track. You know exactly where you're going. Eight of Pentacles is a progressive, focused energy. It's the energy of one step in front of the other, and it's moving forward consistently. This is not the energy of one step forward, two steps back. That energy does not exist in Eight of Pentacles. So whatever this change is, and it can come in in very many ways, Leo, but it'll come in, either somebody will say something or you will have a great realization. Something happens. You are going to release dramatically out of this energy into this energy of feeling incredibly on track in terms of this particular area of your life. Now let us move on and see what our Three of Pentacles energy is that is sitting under Voyage. You already have all the answers. So we want to see now what this Three of Pentacles energy is for Leo, please. The Wheel of Fortune. Wow. Lovely, Leo. Leo, what I love to see with this energy, which very much resonates with what we just saw, the change in the wind spoke to us of this big shift that happened between our Eight of Swords and Eight of Pentacles. The voyage energy is telling us that once you on track, once you are moving in this very distinct and progressive energy forward when you are so committed to the direction you are going. You now have great possibility in bringing in and meeting people that have the same mindset, the same beliefs, values and opinions that you have. And as you go through your voyage, you will not be moving alone on this voyage. In whatever direction you go, Three of Pentacles tells me that on this voyage, you have this incredible possibility of surrounding yourself with people who understand you, who get you, who value you. And with that, we see the Wheel of Fortune. You are bringing in a very significant and big change. We now have two cards that speaking to us of change and the wheel of fortune tells us of a change in our favor so we do really see now how the release out of this energy is taking you on an incredible voyage a voyage my dear leos where i believe there are going to be a lot of surprises a lot of gifts and blessings coming your way there's a lot here to be excited about. Now let us see who or what the Queen of Swords energy is that is sitting under Come to the Edge. Let us see now who or what is this Queen of Swords energy for Leo, please. The Ace of Wands. How lovely, Leo. Leo, you are presenting as Queen of Swords this week. It does not matter if you're masculine or feminine. It's the energy of the card we are speaking about. Now, as you can see, Queen of Swords is facing the rest of the week. Queen of Swords is a very interesting queen. This is my no-nonsense queen. She says what she has to say and she does what she has to do. She takes emotion out of the equation. She is not afraid to ruffle some feathers because she is very focused 
and determined on her path and her goal. And she knows what she needs to do in order to get there. With that, we are being told that you have an incredible opportunity right now. And we saw that right from the beginning. Hand of God is coming in with the Ace of Wands. The Ace of Wands, my dear Leos, is this energy here. An energy of possibility. Come to the edge. Take the wand and see where you can fly, where you can soar, what you can create, what you can manifest. Remember, as with all aces, it's the beginning of something. Now, it's up to you to take the wand, like in the relay race, it's your turn to grab the wand and run the race. What are you going to do? What are you going to create? Are you going to take that jump Soar, fly, see how far you can go. Or are you going to stay in your comfort zone? From what I can see here, my dearest Leos, there is great possibility of you spreading your wings wider than you have for some time. There is wonderful energy here of soaring higher than you have. Very exciting energy. Let's go ahead now and get a message from your angels for the week. Right, let's go ahead now and see what Leo's angels would like to share with them for this week, please. Trust. How beautiful. Leo, your angels want you to trust. They want you to trust in yourself. They want you to trust in them. They want you to know that this is quite a big change with our two big change cards coming out. And with that change, we saw all along great possibility coming in for you. There is this beautiful release out of Eight of Swords and the rest of your cards only spoke to us of opportunity, possibilities, new directions, new people and wonderful journeys where you have everything you need. Now, all you have to do is trust and fly. Wonderful, Leo. So that's all I have for you right now. I hope you enjoyed your reading. I wish you the most wonderful week and I'm sending you all so much love.